Hey there, welcome to Nostalgia Punch, where the past packs a punch. My name's James and happy Halloween. Do you remember as a kid, you'd be watching a film or something on TV which seemed harmless enough, but then, out of nowhere, something creepy and terrifying happens that scars you for life? Well, that happened to me a lot. So, in the spirit of the occasion, I thought it'd be fun to talk about a few of them. Obviously, these are my personal ones, but maybe there's some in this video that left you traumatised as well. So, I present to you 10 scary moments from my childhood. That sounds like fun, Jamie, but I can't stick around today as I have too many social events to attend. Ah, the curse of being popular. Hey, that's absolutely fine, Nostalgic Ninja. Anyway, it is about my personal experience and the fact that... Okay, you twisted my arm, I'll stay. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the Kids was supposed to be a fun little film about kids being accidentally shrunk down to size. They ride bees, eat giant cookies, make friends with cute baby ants. Onward! But then out of nowhere, this horrible red bastard shows up. I kid you not, I could not watch this movie because of this. The way the scorpion moves, the way it sounds, and then to top it off, it kills the cute little baby ant. This thing terrified me. Hmm, until now I've been struggling with what to buy you for Christmas. For a family film, it sure had its fair share of intense moments. But this bloody scorpion took it to a whole new level. <laughs> Captain Black from Captain Scarlet and the Mistrons. You must listen. From that creepy voice to those dark eyes, Captain Black didn't mess around. Being controlled by the mysterious Mistrons, Captain Black would always set in motion plans to destroy Earth's security defence organisation, Spectrum. In almost every episode, the sinister captain would kill an innocent civilian so the Mistrons could duplicate their body and use it to execute their plans. Just like mindless puppets. Ah! And some of these deaths were pretty horrible. Despite Captain Scarlet and the Spectrum team's best efforts, Captain Black always got away in the end to cause more trouble for them another day. Mr. Ons have won this round, but the fight isn't over yet. You see what I see? Pink Elephants on Parade, Dumbo. Now who would have thought drinking a little champagne could have this side effect? Look out! Look out! Watching these elephants dance around with those dark, empty, soulless eyes was terrifying. Then they start singing in these weird, freaky voices. It's like Disney thought the runtime for Dumbo was too short, so let's throw in a scene when Dumbo and his mouse pal have the hallucination from hell. Maybe the intent was to warn kids of the danger of alcohol, but I don't think mentally scarring them for life was the way to go. Goddamn pink elephants destroyed my childhood too. I know, right? And Dumbo's supposed to be a kid's film? I'm not talking about Dumbo. <laughs> so, there I was, six years old, ready to watch another hilarious Red Dwarf episode with the family. Then this crazy bitch shows up. Even though primarily it was focused on comedy, sometimes it can get pretty dark. <laughs> and Dr. Hildegard Landstrom from the episode Quarantine was no exception. Gentlemen, I wish to give your lives meaning. I don't know if it was those glowing red eyes that shoot lasers, or that weird groaning noise she makes, but this woman gave me nightmares for years. Typical Doctor, always trying to frighten you. Even though Dr. Landstrom's time of Red Dwarf was very brief, only a few minutes actually, her effect on me was long lasting. <laughs> Zap was one of the best kids shows from the 90s. It was full of colourful characters that entertained us in various different segments. So why is it on the list? Sounds harmless enough, right? Wrong. I remember one character that was far from fun. This faceless character, Tricky Dicky. 
My god, why was he a thing? All he did was upset kids by making them do these impossible challenges. While he just danced around laughing to himself. Luckily, Dickie's time on the show was short, otherwise who knows how much more psychological damage he could have done. What do you mean his Dickie was cut short? I think he misheard me. <laughs> now, I do feel like the Ghostbuster movies has its fair share of scary moments. But none of them scared me as much as the main antagonist from Ghostbusters 2. Hold it right there, deadhead! Vigo and the Carpathian. Man, they really went all out to make this guy look mean. If this painting isn't hiding the spirit of an evil genocidal madman, I don't know what is. On a mountain of skulls in the castle of pain, I sat on a throne of blood. Bit of a big edge, isn't he? I just find this guy freaky. His grand plan by taking over the world by becoming a baby was insane. And the less said about his appearance at the end of the film, the better. But it is still just a comedy, so just laugh it off, right? No! Fair enough. <laughs> Superman 3 isn't the greatest Superman film, but it's one I hold dear. And it may have had its fair share of silly and goofy moments. It was great! It was just flying around. <laughs> but it also had one of the most terrifying scenes from any superhero film ever. It comes during Superman's battle with the bad guys and their supercomputer. The bad guys start to lose control of this mad machine. What comes next is truly haunting. Yes? Yep, for some reason it turns one of the villains into one of the freakiest cyborgs I've ever seen. Holy crap! Someone get her a hairbrush! This robotic horror scared the crap out of me, with those grey eyes, that weird walk and that expressionless face. I wish I could say this was the strangest thing to come out of a Superman movie, but just look at Superman 4. Literally my favourite film ever! If that's true, now that's scary. <laughs> Naturally, a film about a talking toaster and his appliance powers travelling across country is going to have its fair share of WTF moments. You must be the new boys in town. But this scene comes out of nowhere. It starts about halfway through the film when the toaster falls asleep and has a dream. It starts off pleasant enough. Until it becomes a bloody nightmare when this fireman from hell shows up. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of wee came out then. I mean, seriously, film, why? He then proceeds to try and kill the toaster while letting out this evil demonic laugh. Was this scene really necessary? It adds nothing and it's never mentioned afterwards. It's crazy. I got it. They're trying to say smoking is bad for you. Well, I got a funny way of showing it. All I took away from this scene was therapy. I know it sounds silly, but seriously, this show used to freak me the hell out. I mean, just look at it. Who thought this kind of black and white scrapbook cut out animation was a good idea for kids? My Angela, that's awful. Oh, it's worse than awful, Mrs. Brinks. My brother liked this show for some reason, so I was forced to watch it. I don't want to be rude, but these weird and ugly looking characters were pure nightmare fuel. From the way they move to their facial expressions. In order to get full credit, you must. No offense, Jamie, but I don't see you animating perfect characters. I mean, I look good, but you, not so much. It also didn't help that they all sound horrible as well. I mean, if this is the opening song to your show, then you've got problems. I'm sure it had its fans, and more power to them. But for me, Angela Anaconda was just an unpleasant experience I never forgot. When most people think of scary witches, most people will think of the Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz. 
And yes, she is scary, but for me, it was the Grand High Witch from the classic movie The Witches which scared me more. Wow, if she's a witch, she could take a ride on my broomstick any day. Like all the witches in this film, they wear disguises to hide their true self. So when the Grand High Witch reveals her true self, it was brown trousers time. I... still would. Man, the special effects team did a fantastic job at making her look absolutely horrible. When I think of an evil witch, this is what I think of. A witch that hates children so much she'll come up with various different ways to dispose of them. And in the end, what is more scary to us kids than a crazy witch out to get us? Well, Jamie, I've definitely learned something today. You're just a big wimp who likes to whine a lot, aren't you? There's no need to be like that. I didn't force you to stick around today. I know, but you should make the most of me while you still can, Jamie, because I'm not going to be here forever. You're joking, right? You never leave me alone. You're always hanging around, always taking the piss.